Look at that. Just like that. Just like that. You talk about this guy and he just comes out of the pack. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm back for part four of my Japan story, Shrippaming OP02. It's so fun to check it out. Check it out. So, yeah, basically, uh, oh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you wanted to, it would be really cool if you did. Anyway, let's get into the story. So, uh, this guy that owned this shop called Tier 1, um, Tier 1 Card Game, I think it was called. He invited me and he was like, hey, you know, if you're in the area and you want to come back and play, if you have time before you leave, bless him, come by and I would love to play with you. So I went back the next day with my deck and um, I actually got to play a game with this guy and he was playing Kid and I had my Luffy deck, which is, I haven't put any of the set two stuff in it and it's not tuned and I haven't actually really played much cards lately because I've been so busy printing these cards. Um, but we played and the first game, he won the, he won the coin flip and oh, Utah, just like that, just like that. I'm just gonna jump to the next box. There's no no point in wasting my time with all this. Then, if that's an Utah, that means that there is no alt art in there, and I want to pull an alt art. So I'm going to just jump to the next box to sure them. Continue the story on the way. Oh, let's see what's in the box topper though. Uh -huh. Thank you, Utah, for releasing us from the box. That's two. I got one Ayukiji and one. Uta, all right, Tashigi, nice, 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 nice. Um, let's leave that up and continue on to the next box. Anyway, so he invited me to the shop and he was playing, um, he was playing Kid and I gave him one of the custom Kid leaders that I made, he really liked that. And we were playing and uh, he got me in the first game, there was like, it wasn't really that close, but the second game, I actually like, I was doing, pretty good like I had I had some pretty good sequencing I had some decent draws like I kind of had him pushed up against the wall a little bit on a couple turns and he didn't speak a ton of English but he spoke enough to like communicate and one of the things he kept saying was he was like ah pinchy and I was like yes yes I'm making him think bless him because at the end of the day you know like I don't actually care that much about beating people in card games I just want to have a good interaction and a fun time and make people like think and process and have to make decisions and if they make the wrong decision then I benefit off of that but he was really thinking a lot and he played really really well and I kept I, you know a couple times I was like man you're really good at this game and eventually he was like uh flagship champion this and I was like yo <laughs> I'm sitting across from flagship champion right now <laughs> and I'm making him think this is a win in my book. Um, and he wasn't actually using that many OP02 cards. I think he the only card I saw from OP02 was the Yamato rare, which I think it rests like a six cost or less, which doesn't really matter that much against um, Luffy because in Luffy you just play rush things and then just go in with rush stuff. Um, Eduard Nugeto. But yeah, the Yamato card looks really cool and I'm pretty sure on play it rests a six cost as he was saying what it does. I, I don't know what all these cards in the set do. I haven't I haven't done my homework because I've been busy with other things, but I did want to get some shrippums in, tell some stories, and hopefully you guys enjoy these stories. But yeah, we had a really good time and um I went around and I oh wow, Aokiji alt. That's pretty hype. I feel like I just gotta keep gunning. I've been opening all these alts so early on. Well, there could be an alt leader in here also, so I don't know though. I think I need to just keep these packs separated and just go into another box because this story is really good. And all right, so I'm gonna keep these separated. And I know now like these both could potentially have alt art leaders in them. So maybe I will strip them those at some point. But anyway, um, I'm gonna just jump in another box here. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Um, yeah, so I went around the shop and everybody that was playing uh, One Piece, I gave them like an alternate, uh, one of my like custom One Piece leaders and like programmed their Instagrams on them or my YouTube channel, whatever. And they're all like really appreciative. And I was just like, yeah, I'm a pirate king. I, you know, I make the treasure and I give it out. So here it is, enjoy. And um, I gave them, I gave one to each of the staff members and they all really liked it. And um, made a bunch of friends made, there were some really cool people working there some like really really awesome nice everybody in japan just so nice bless them i just i feel like i feel like somewhere in my soul maybe i'm just japanese but 
uh, we're making a bunch of jokes and I like got, I gave them each like cards and um, after I gave them all these cards, one of the guys walked up to me and he was like, hey, like we have a present for you. And he handed me a card like upside down so I could just see the back and it was red. So I knew it was like a leader and I thought maybe they were like, thought there was a leader that I liked, Shanks. Um, which it's true, there is a leader that I like. Uh, but yeah, so they gave me this card and the, and the card case had like their logo on it. Um, and I was like, oh, thanks, this is so nice of you. And I just, I was expecting it to just be like a regular leader with like the nice case that had their logo on it. And I turned it around and it was an alt art white beard leader, which like I was looking to buy one of those and they were like 150 bucks and I didn't really want to drop the cash on the leader because it just didn't want to at the time. And they literally just gave me one. And I was, I've been so psyched to play that leader. I haven't brewed it and I haven't tested it and done it yet. But the fact that it has, look at that, just like that, just like that. You talk about this guy and he just comes out of the pack. That's wild. This is the first one that I pulled also. So, you know, I was, that's wild. That's crazy. That's really, really crazy stuff. Um, yeah, so I was, they gave me this leader and I was like totally amazed and so grateful. And um, I think I need to keep opening this, this box though. I think this, this all art looks so cool. Like the, 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 the uh, like earthquake effect on the etching and the foiling in the background. And he's just so, the, the one piece is so real in this right here. Amazing. All right, I think I need to keep opening this box. I, I feel like there's an alt art leader in this box and I'm going to find it. So they gave me this leader and I was so thankful. I was like, yo, we got to take a picture and like get some footage for my YouTube channel, please. So I got some good pics and make some good jokes, got some moving pictures. And um, yeah, it was really cool to make friends with them. I'm definitely going to go back to that shop when I go back. I really like the shop. All the people there were really cool and really nice. And um, I'm just looking forward to going back to Japan. I, I, there is more to this story. I don't know how much more I want to tell about that part right now, but I do plan to go back to Japan, uh, on in January, I'm going back for the next part of this, um, pirate mission. I'm on this pirate mission is going to be pretty involved and there's a couple things that I have to continue doing. So I'm going to have to make some trips back there. And hopefully if it all pans out, I'll be going there a lot more frequently, um, which I would love because I love Japan and I would love to have more reasons to go back there. Uh, any excuse I can get to go back there is really good. And oh, I got to tell the Sadi story. In the next video, in the next shrimp, I'm going to tell the story about Sadi-chan because there's a card that made me some friends and it was a really, really fun experience. So definitely tune into that next video to hear the story of how Sadi-chan made me some friends in Akihabara. But yeah, I'll definitely be going back to that shop. If any of you guys are watching this video, thank you. Thank you for your hospitality and showing me a good time. I, there's that card, there's the Yamato card he was using. Yeah, so it's a four cost, 6,000 power and on play, it rests to six cost or less, I think, which is, I think that's really strong. Aokiji. Oh, All right, is there an alt leader in here? About to find out if we pull one more sr that means no alt leader i think is how that works because no actually we probably won't pull another sr because we pulled four srs so i think if one of the alts is an sr then you only pull four i think that's how it works i'd like to confirm that let's confirm that in a moment here because there's only two packs left and we pulled one sr alt so if there's no more sr that just means that there's only four sr spots in a box there's a blossom what will it be? Anything shiny? I don't know. No. Yeah. So only four SR spots in the box. And here's our box topper. Shrip them. Ooh. Hunkle Kachuan. So yeah. Uh, next video, I'm going to tell the story about how Sadi Chan made me some friends. Thank you so much. And don't forget to remind your friends to take care of their teeth also. And you should take care of your teeth too. There's lots of ways to do it. Ask me in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.